Blast it off, motherfucker! Welcome back to Pineapple Gaming. Hey, how's, how's, how's it going? How's it going? Blast it all. Is he mad? We had to, uh... We had to beat, your, beat up your friend this and you're mad about fra- it? The perfect being! I mean, it's really not that hard, dude. One yeah. of, uh... See, now here's my thing. Hey, buddy! Let me tell you one of my favorite things about watching... Uh, fucking Dragon Ball in Japanese. I love Frieza. I can't tell you enough. Frieza has probably always been one of my favorite villains. I think he looks so fucking cool aesthetically. Yeah, he does. Like, I've always just loved his power set. I love when he came back and he was a robot. I love when our cat gets on the same table as our microphone and you guys (laughs) all hear it. Sorry. Um, Yeah, sorry about that. (laughs) He's just always been a cool fucking villain to me. Yeah. And not that I've ever had a problem with any of the uh, English voice actors. I've always loved it. I always loved the first uh, the first one who always uh, like sounded like this 47-year-old Brooklyn woman who smoked for like 30 years <laughs> of her life. I mean, you're not wrong. It's just funny. <laughs> There was the, um, there was the ocean dub who had the, um, oh, Captain Ginyu, I, you brought me the Dragon Balls, I want to caress them. (laughs) Caressing these balls brings me something that resembles joy, I think. (laughs) So bad. Oh, but it's so fucking funny. Um... Binks, I swear to God, he get wants up, get, he uh, wants to get fed, and I swear to Christ, he won't stop being annoying. Sorry, everybody. Goku! Go, go. Dude, you are fucking being the biggest asshole right now. Like, the biggest of a-holes. He's refusing to get off the table. Hey! Fuck off. Fuck your face, dude. Not actually, but damn. Who is and where? <sighs> Cry on me. You can wait. Yeah, dude. You got 18 minutes. Less than that at this point. But yeah, definitely. Uh, to be exact. <sighs> to be exact. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't fucking say it. Wow. Is that really shocking to everybody? Oh, fuck. So, yes, from 18 minutes, where am I going? Where are you going? Oh, good. I'm doing cutscenes. So, longer episode, guys. I'm like, fuck, what? Two, three minutes? We started at 54, we're at 57, about 58. So, we started like three and a half minutes. That's not too bad. We get that three minutes early. Oh, no. <laughs> Hi, Oliver. Oh, shit. Yeah, please don't. Yeah, you can jump here on my chair. That's fine. And then jump off the chair. Good. Great. Cats are awesome. They are fucking gifts from God. It's fine. <laughs> also, a little little bit of Satan. <laughs> With a pinch of Satan. <laughs> Just that little kick of like, hey, I'm gonna fucking uh, dig everything out of your dresser drawer if it's the slightest open. Hey, uh. I'm gonna bite the shit out of your umbrella and every shoe you have on the floor. But also, I'm gonna be the goddamn fluffiest and sweetest goddamn kitten that's gonna sleep in your laundry. <laughs> and all, all you're gonna want to do is just go, Aw. Wife, wife, look. It's so soft and cute. <laughs> why is he so goddamn soft and cute? But also, why the fuck did he eat my shoe? <laughs> Why did he, uh, drag my, my, uh, uh, shirt into the cat box? Oh, thank God that that one hasn't happened in a while. That only happened once. Binks did it. Oh, yeah, no, I remember. It was your shirt. <laughs> I, no, I, yeah. I wonder why I remember. <laughs> oh, God. I can't figure why that would happen, but yeah, yeah. <sighs> Cat parent problems. 
I, I remember, we were doing some reading on it, it was something about nesting or some shit like that, and... Yeah, and, we like, just he like, liked your scent. And it's like, that's, that's adorably sweet and all that, and but it's just like... ultra nasty. Yeah. <laughs> like, could you not, bitch? And Oliver's, uh, up on the window like something is in his reach. But, you know, it's probably on the other side of the fucking glass. But you know what? That's so. That's what's so goddamn cute about it all in the long run, you know. Yeah. Meanwhile, Bass is licking his dick over by the door. Both legs. And he's literally spread eagling. Now he's now he's going at his leg. Battle complete. That was the most pleasant chime for a battle completed message. Yeah. Yeah. You did it, Josh. I'm so proud of you. Thank. Sorry. I'm also keeping an eye on him because I'm also afraid he's going to take down that fucking, uh... Curtain? Yeah. Do it, dude. I fucking dare you. We're going to go into this player bottle, and we're going we're gonna to go against the boss, and we're going to get a rescue out of him. <gasps> oh, my God. Oliver, could you fucking Hey, help it's me? Piccolo. Oh, my God. It's Piccolo. Hey, more clones. More problems. Good damn it. I don't know. What do you think of Gray's cell? Do you think uh, you think Gray's a good look for him? It's not bad, but it's bland, admittedly. I still think uh, full blue cell is like yeah. uh, my like a favorite. blue and purple, or just straight up full blue. Oh well, you remember the 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 uh, the cell juniors. And how they they the mini versions of him and they were blue. Yeah. That yeah, they have like a, right. they have a they have a, a a skin for him that's the full blue. That's cool. Binks won't leave me alone. No, he won't. No, he won't. Could you feck it? Yes, please and thank you. That was, my pro that was my problem yesterday while you were at, at work. They were, like, bugging me at, like, 9 o'clock and, like, beating the shit out of my head. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, my God, are you guys hungry at this point? Like, the time that, that, like, I caved was, like, Oliver was just, like, screaming at me with meows and shit like that. That I was just like, okay, now I just feel like I'm being an irresponsible parent right now. <laughs> It beat the shit out of you and screamed at you. They're so abusive to you. Well, okay. So when I say beat the shit out of, I'm talking about uh, I'm talking about our, our the oldest cat, Banks, who his form of uh, showing affection is uh, headbutting you, which is common. And that's yeah, that's that's, that's really common with cats, and that's you know all, is a little all, rougher than usual. Oh yeah, no, he's fucking spry and full of energy, and you know, he's just like, oh, I want to show my super love right now. Kamehame headbutt. So, yeah, so here's this shit for ya. <laughs> but yeah. I just did two supers in one, and I've never done that before, and that was super fucking cool. I'm proud of you. Thanks. You're welcome. Whew. Cool, so we can play as Piccolo now? Uh, the balls are inert. What? Yes. I don't understand her ship. It just looks like she's got, like, no roof to her ship. And they're just, like, standing in this thing and, like, they should be blowing away with as fast as they're going. There's some form of ceiling, okay. Because, like, I knew it was glass, but, like, with the past few shots, there wasn't anything really indicating that there was anything above them. So I just imagine their body go, <laughs> like, <laughs> maybe Bulma would be okay if she was wearing a seatbelt. Maybe. Well, what else did you fuck out with this person? Whoa. It's, it's Piccolo, not me, Bulma. Chill. Whoa. Oof. What? He probably didn't mean to. He doesn't have a penis. <laughs> he He's has... just a fucking slug. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little Ken doll. I am not old. Aww. 
Aw, old people. You were linked with Goku? Oliver is about to be linked with the fucking microphone? Our cats are beginning to fucking to be wage war on their parents. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're about to get fucking beaten the shit out of this green dad. Oh yeah, no, I just I just had a, I a know, knock Big on said, the head. I know, Big said, what you? Oliver's fucking, you know, circling us. Big is literally behind me. <laughs> yeah, said, yeah, no. Yeah, no, Oliver's is like, da 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 <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Like at this point, I'm just like, it looks like he's about to fuck, like, fucking take down one of the monitors or yeah, something. Yeah, dude. Now he's pretending to go out the window. There's nothing. So there. he could take down a monitor. Yeah. <laughs> he just bolted across the room, playing with a toy. Stop looking at me, mom. I'm playing with a toy. I'm acting completely normal. Nothing wrong here. Nothing wrong here. Nothing because wrong. like you're fucking it up. You're fucking it up. You're making it obvious. <laughs> we will feed you, boys. In soon, <clears throat> soon, but to be exact, ten minutes. I repeat, ten fucking minutes. You hear the sirens? That's the ten minute warning. <laughs> That's awful of me to say. <laughs> That's a fucking emergency that I just made yeah, a no, choke out of. Yeah, that's a that's uh, another. I'm sorry. Just another crash on fifty. <laughs> I mean, true. Uh, it's another tutorial. Yo, I like remember what I told you that they have the tutorial matches. That's, I know, but god damn it, Trunks looks good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got they got Trunks here. They've got Go Tanks. They've got like uh one. They've got like two characters from Super. That's that's good. They're going to be uh, putting out more DLC characters. Uh, oh, are they? Bit. Yeah, which is why um, I'm going to be... Uh, I'm going to wait until they come out with like a complete edition of this game because they... it's That's old hat for fucking uh, Arxis. Like, they, they always have like a second version of the game that'll have like the DLC and shit like that on there. So, I'm just basically... That's just what I'm waiting for for now at this point. It's just... That. That's fair. Um, so what is the general consensus uh, to everybody for this game? Is this the um, best game? Where, where, yeah, where yeah, do we no. stand? Well, um, what game competes? Nothing at this moment because uh, you know what game was the fighting game for the time was uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, mm. and uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite is a hollow shell of a fucking uh, game. Uh, of, of, of what used to be the Marvel vs. Capcom uh, franchise. Like, yeah. once upon a... You know, every Marvel vs. Capcom game has had fucking uh, Wolverine in it. And this is the first game that features no fucking X-Men characters in it at all because of the fucking uh, uh, Fox and Disney dispute and all that bullshit, which... Oh, boy. At this date, has been alleviated because Disney just fucking bought Fox. Yeah... That's the interesting part. Um, I know, Binks. So, I know. <clears throat> there's very much a possibility that... Yeah. Um, because I, I, I can't say that I can comment on the game for what the game is as a as a fighting game, you know? Mm -hmm. I, that's that's impossible for me. I, I haven't, like, really played it. Like, I think I, I, I played, like, a little bit of the demo, and that's about it. Outside of that, it, it could be, like, a fucking, like, really, really awesome game, but I, I really haven't messed around with it. But it's just the idea of knowing how empty of a game it is. And yeah, like... like I mean, and, and that's, that's just the other thing that bothers me, the, the amount of characters that they have in the game. Just, the second game alone had some somewhere up to, like, 40 to, like, 50 characters or something. And, like, this game is having, like, a base count of, like... I think of like sixteen initially or something. Oh wow! And yeah, they're like, no. and they're and all additional characters they're putting out are your DLC. Yeah. Wait. Why? I don't know, dude. And it just, Is it, it DLC you gotta buy? Yeah. That's why. And this is like you gotta like, pay more to buy the whole game. Like, and that's, that's just bullshit. like super gross, right? Yeah, that's that's garbage. 
Sorry. Like, you pay $60 for a fucking game, that should be the whole game. That's what I'm not really caring for in this uh, new age of gaming. You know, like, I, I actually vented to Twitter about this a little while ago. But, like, I miss the games. Like, not that this is entirely a bad thing. There are good points to it. But my initial statement is I miss the games where we would just put in the disc and play the game. Mm-hmm. I didn't have to wait for shit to install. Like, nowadays, yes, you can download parts to your game that improve it or whatever, but I missed the games where it was already perfect as it was. It was ready when it released, and when you put that disc in, you fucking played what they gave you, and that was it. No corrections, no do-overs, you know, no delays, really. Because that's half the problem with DLC, is that they give us more content later. Well, okay, so... And that's and a, I just think when I spend my $60, the game I get is the game with everything so, that they wanted for it. I don't know. There's, there's, a, there's a lot to think about with that, with that exact topic because I, I'm still very much at this, at this point where I actually, like... I honestly believe that we should honestly... And I, this this sounds really really awful. I think that we should actually spend more on video games than we actually do. Something that that's actually uh, blew really really blown my mind um, that I've learned since uh, working in a video game store is that since the time of like pretty much always, video games have stayed at a very very set price. Video games that you would buy for consoles have pretty much always stayed at sixty dollars. Now there have been some uh, there have been some exceptions depending on uh, what uh, the type of game that you are buying or what have you. But depending on the certain type of games, handhelds w- uh, would have stayed about thirty five to forty dollars, brand new, and like console based games would be about sixty dollars. When you when you think about inflation and you think about the fact that video games have never changed in price, you think that there's like something being kind of stagnant. There's something wrong with that because everything else has gotten like, more expensive, but for whatever reason, the price of gaming has stayed consistently the same. The consoles have gone up a little bit, haven't they? A little bit. Just mm. a little bit. I mean, it's hard to say, because, like, I think that, like, when you talk about, like, the first, like, generation of consoles, I think that, like, the NES and all that, I think those ranged for about, like, 200. Yeah. Um, but I think that, like, I think 64 and all that, I think that was about 300. And so on and so forth. But, yeah, there was definitely an increase in value with some of them, like... Uh, the PS3s and things like that, when those were upwards of like five to six hundred dollars, that was because they had the Blu-ray technology inside of them, and that was what made them so expensive. But they became cheaper initially when the Blu-ray uh, parts started to become more readily available. Yeah. So all that has become uh, extremely cheaper at this point. I mean, but, the, but, the, but, the, but the, the whole the whole point that I'm making is that. Video game makers and companies and things like that are, are not making as much money as people think. And I kind of get the idea behind companies that do DLC or, you know, different forms of microtransactions. I don't believe in microtransactions, but I understand why they happen in a lot of games. A... People are going to buy them if people like the games enough. It's a cheap money grab. And B, it's going to help the company inevitably. And honestly, if you do it, it's your fault in the end, you know? Like, and I can't really put blame on the company for doing that. If they know it's going to be something that people are going to spend their money on. I blame the company, though, when in certain games they make it impossible to advance. 
without buying the microtransactions. And that's fair. And that's I also bullshit. believe and I also believe that games that are based on skill, if there are some forms of microtransactions that give you a buff or any kind to that, I also believe that that's bullshit as well. Yeah, I like, I think that any sort of competitive games and things like that, I think that that needs to stay strictly uh, cosmetic. So, in a cosmetic. Uh, I, but, but, the, but the point that I'm making is that I feel that there would be a lot less DLC. I feel like that there would be a lot less of all of this if games were more expensive. And I agree, actually. Like, but my thing would just make the games more expensive. Because in the end, it's going to be cheaper for us. In all honesty, because I'm gonna buy sixty dollar Final Fantasy fifteen, and then I'm gonna buy five dollar Prompto Story, then I'm gonna buy five dollar Gladio Story, and then I'm gonna buy five dollar Ignis's Story. That's what I did personally. Or you can buy the what is it twenty dollar? It was the season pass. Which season was pass. Twenty five. I think. Twenty five. So. But that would have also been now if we actually thought about that. Uh, that would have also gotten us the Comrades DLC as well, which is twenty dollars on its own. Yeah, so I spent fifteen um, doing my thing when I could have spent twenty five to get everything. Yeah, because yeah, you said it was an extra twenty five, so it'd actually be like forty. So it's just like. Just charge me fucking eighty dollars or whatever to like just put more of that together. You know? And it's just kinda like, don't bug me with the microtransactions, don't bug me with the extra bullshit. Like, I wanna put in my game and fucking play it. And not wait five hours for the update to install or the patches to install and all the bullshit. Like I'm, so, I'm sorry, I know you're super big into this, but, but Piccolo is currently blushing because Is that what all, that gray shit is on his cheeks? He's all concerned about fucking Gohan right now. Aww. Aww. And it's just like, I just think of a great little fan service moment. Good, good dad is good. He's so concerned about him. Alright. Did we just now start a mission? Like, is this the fresh start of a... Mission? Uh, no, well, I mean, I think this is, uh, I, I don't remember if this is the boss match or this is just, oh, no, no, this is just a standard rescue mission. Okay, so I'm will rescuing, this be quick? I'm rescuing Gohan right now, so yeah, no, you go ahead. Will this be quick? Oh, uh, yeah, I think the match should be fairly okay, quick. Okay, because we, we're at end time. But oh, okay, I can sorry. continue until the end of this battle, we'll yeah. have a little bit of a longer episode. But yeah, no, it, it's not a matter of price that I'm upset about, it's the fact that, like, I buy this game... And it's gotten to the point where I feel like I fucking bought a blank disc and put it into my PlayStation to wait for it to install. You know, it's like, I spent already so much time waiting to save up the money to buy this game. And it's so fucking antagonizing when... Or I'm sorry, agonizing, not antagonizing. Um, when I put the disc in, I'm ready to play the game, and then I get this message of like, hey, this... You know, and it also sucks because we can't afford decent internet. So it's, you know, also because of our shitty internet that it takes three to five hours to fucking download. But it's just like, I don't want to wait, period. I want to see the load screen come up immediately. Because that's what I grew up with. And that I had that luxury. And so it's like, I had to give that up to have what we do now with DLC and stuff. And like I said, there it's not entirely a bad thing because it is... It does have good things that come with it. You know, I like DLC when appropriate, but... It's just like, I don't know, I, I liked putting a disc in and just playing the game and just not waiting, I guess. And it goes all the way back to whatever episode I was talking about, the fact that I'm impatient. I, I get it. Um, and I mean, that's just how I feel. I wouldn't... I mean, if you want to fucking buy micro tra transactions, if, if you have the money to do that, I mean, I'm not going to tell you how to spend your fucking money. As Josh said earlier, uh, it's your fault. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, it, it's just. If fun, you regret like, it, it's on you, dude. It is fucking mobile games, dude. Like we had, uh, we we had a friend that was playing one of those like Simpsons games, and like, yep, spent money on it. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? You could have spent ninety nine cents on an extra thing from the dollar store. Could you know, just some, some candy or something, some tangibility <laughs> to your fucking something that you need is ninety nine cents. But now you're now you're literally all tapped out. And you bought fucking. 
see what you did there. Yeah, that's why they call it that, I swear. All right. All right, well, if, uh, thanks, time. guys, for joining us. Tell us what you thought of this game and everything, and... Uh, Let us know if you want more. Yeah. Um, so next time on Pineapple Gaming, something else? Yeah. Uh, now the clone's out of the way, we should go play a different game. <laughs> <laughs> can we save to where we can replay this scene over or should we scroll through this save game we'll figure the rest out we might not even ever come back to this game yeah this game might have sucked to watch who knows well I, let's I go a, sorry <laughs> i had a good time me too that's what it's all about all right bye yeah